Okay, so here's the plan. I am just outside of here. So I'm gonna keep powering on through all the way up past there, all the way up here. And I'm gonna try and camp here, Beacon Town. I'm in the top, so I'm gonna have to nick a stick from somewhere like to be able to set that up. I can't imagine there'd be too many trees up there. Shouldn't be a problem, should it? I've only read one book. I'll have read two books after this trip. Fucking get on. Right. See you in a bit. Oh. properly tomorrow morning but I'm just filtering my water I have one more chalky bar and then that's it for me straight to bed there's other people out around here but there's no music or anything so I'm, I'm happy with that first day of success I'll see you in the morning Five past nine, I just had a lovely high and it's so peaceful up here, there's no wind, it's not hot, it's not cold, hasn't been any rain, it's just nice and peaceful so I'm just making the most of it and enjoying it. I've got my uh, big bag of muesli out, just tucking into that and um, I'll get on my way soon. So on this map, I'm only still right up here near the start, I've still got a lot of miles to go, I think it's a 77 mile hike and I've done about 10 miles at the moment, so plenty more to enjoy. I'm going to be passing through a village or a town today and then again I'll just, I'll find somewhere along the way to wild camp, I don't have anywhere in mind yet, I don't really know anywhere to be honest, but we'll find somewhere. We might have a bit of rain today. That is not normally what my knee looks like. <laughs> I was out camping the other night with a mate before this trip and obviously some it's been feasting on us. Ah, it's swelled up my kneecap like and it's a little bit sore now. I think all the pressure I'm putting on it, especially with the backpack and that as well. No way am I getting fucking defeated by a bug like. Worst situation, like I've got my little saw so I'll just chop off my leg. Cumbria way, let's fucking go. Thank you. 
we're just leaving Coniston now. That's just a quick grab and go mission. Stop the up on my pasties, priorities, and that. Aye, just keep powering on. So the rains are starting to come down. I thought, so they're risking me cheap Amazon waterproofs. I'll just um, hunk it down for a little bit. I'm in the rush. A blower. Quite peaceful actually. Looks like the rain's gone away now. I've seen the rain starting, so I, I was either put all my waterproofs on and just battle through it, put my head down, which is what I've always done, or just set up my tarp quickly and just lay low for a little bit. So I decided to do this, I'm in no rush. Um, I've, I've filled up my water, I had some food, and I just fell asleep actually for it's half seven now, so I think about two hours. I was out and I've woke up and now it's beautiful again. So that was fun. I think I'll do another two hours hike. I might as well now. I wasn't going to, but I've had a big rest there, so I think I've got another two hours in us. This little um, tan was quite popular before that rain came, so. I'm sure it's only a matter of time before people start coming down here again so I want to find somewhere more discreet to set up a proper camp for the night. Got the world's tiniest gate here. With a nice lock on it. It's another late one. Another 10-15 minutes and I'll be setting up my camp. And so this has turned into a crazy one. It's said 10 15 minutes, it's about an hour and a half later. There's just nowhere to camp down there. Like, I'm stuck between a hill and a wall, and all this bush as well. You probably just can't see too much, but there's just absolutely nothing. It's what you get for doing planning shit. So it's five o'clock in the morning and it's been pissing down for five and a half hours, consistently heavy rain. I was hiking in the pitch black, I couldn't see a thing. I've just had to tie myself out to this wall. It's a proper botch job like, but I'm in my bivvy bag, I'm in my waterproofs and I think I'm staying dry, but I'm gonna have to move eventually. And I'm gonna get fucking soaking. I'm gonna give it a few more hours though. I hope it will pass. All right. Do you know on Skyrim and that? When you walk to the end of the map and there's just massive mountains you can't get past. That feels like what I'm walking towards now. Okay, so we're heading up Stake Pass. 
five to ten. I haven't had a coffee in three days, and it's making me climb a fucking mountain. So I'm not happy, but there's some hikers behind us. So all right, they're not going to beat me up here. I've got to fucking get me moved on. Okay, we've made it to the top. Wasn't too bad. That last camp spot, that was just that. Literally, I felt like I was in the gutter, pissing it down with rain all night, sleeping centimeters away from the sheep shit. So that climb there was, in my eyes, like a symbol of climbing out of the gutter and getting back on top. Here I am. Come on. I would also like to say, Mother Nature, if you're watching. That's 2 0 Dazzy B. Tried to wet me twice now and I'm still dry as fuck. What you gonna do? Bring it on. Right, welcome back. I'm at uh, Durrant Water now. I found this nice spot up a steep bank off the path. No one's coming up here like. It's still early, it's six o'clock. But after last night's ordeal and all this rain, I've decided to uh, pitch up early. Here we go, a bit more sophisticated this time round. Got me washing on the line. Same in there. Bed's all set up. I've got me food. Got me phone back on charge. And there we go. A luxury. I'm just gonna eat loads of food and get loads of sleep and then bring on tomorrow. I go through Keswick tomorrow so I can stock up on army food. Aye, see what happens. Right, that's me done for tonight. See you tomorrow. Bye. All right, good morning, everybody. Day four. It's about nine o'clock now and it's not stopped raining all night. It's only just dying down now. It was brutal like. This tarp is spot on. Done the job. I think it's time for me to make a move. I'm gonna get up, get packed. Let's do this. Come on. Literally heading into the clouds now. That's exciting.
where I need to go, I think. It's leading me up there. That's where I've come from. So we've got a couple of more hours before it gets dark, so I'm just going to keep wowing on and I'm sure there'll be a nice spot somewhere I'll find. Let's go then. I've literally just walked 10 seconds further. Looks like the perfect Vivian spot like. I'm gonna go check that out and also there's a little house in the distance. Okay, that's not as good as what I thought. I thought I'd go further in like a little cave or something. That's a no-go. Let's go and check out this house. Right then, this place is fucking buzzing, I love this. I've got a mint view. I've always wanted a house on top of a hill and I've fucking just found one, come on. I've got my candles going there. I've got all my shit out, sprawled out. I didn't know if it's cheaping or not like, but I'm sleeping here tonight, I love this. As long as nobody comes in and I've got it all to myself. I'm staying here, I'm going to get set up and put my feet up. Have you ever seen Into the Wild where he finds that magic bus? Literally feels like that. I love it. So, I'm gonna, yeah, just chill out here, get myself organized. I'll catch up with you tomorrow morning. Peace. everyone day five bring it on I had a midnight sleep in here that was lovely loved it I'm hoping I can make it all the way to Carlisle now that was me last night touch wood Mary's it's about 20 miles I'm not too sure but we can do it we can do it it's raining outside so I've got all my waterproofs on ready to battle that I've had all my muesli now as well, so this is it man, home stretch, and then we're done. Let's fucking do it then. I've left a few treats for the people after me, because I'm a gentleman like that. Motherfucking Terminator, you can't stop me. I'm an original dafty, but right now it's raining, so I'm stood under a tree. Yeah. Ah.
don't think there's an official ending to this trail so it just leads you to Carlisle and that's it. So on that note, I just want to say a big thank you to my legs, couldn't have done it without you. Thank you to my tarp, you've been through some hellish battles on a night and you've stood strong. And most importantly, a huge thanks to everybody who's clicked on this video and made it this far. Thank you so much. My body feels tired but my mind feels refreshed, so that's a good sign. Alright then, see you in the next video. Peace.